domestic violence. Stop domestic violence. Alicia is amazing. She's She was my only sister, my younger sister. We we're five years apart, but super close. She was my best friend growing up and into adulthood. Um, she's the life of any party. She lit up any room she walked into. She had goals and dreams and aspirations that were taken from her at the young age of 20 years old um, in a domestic violence situation as we're here today to um, honor. She had been away from him about three or four months when um, she had restraining orders and PPOs when he um, tracked her down and took her life. We organized a domestic violence walk in honor of my sister and those who have suffered through domestic violence or victims or who are survivors who have gotten out. Um, anybody and everybody who has um, been in a domestic violence situation, we're out here today to honor them and um, hopefully spread awareness that you know, you're not alone and there are resources out here. She was amazing. Good kid. She was all about her family, always, always with me or her sister or her niece, her dad. I never got in trouble. Yeah, never in trouble. She's just a good, good person. Yeah, a great very heart. good girl. Would help anybody. She'd give a little shirt off her back. It's the fact that it's pretty bad. It's sad. She's, you know, we miss her every day. You know, she, she was my baby niece. You know, so it's, it's been pretty rough. Think about her constantly. She's a beautiful person, so loving and friendly, and like she said, she was a life of the party. She's a great person. It's just that, you know, it's sad that we have to do this because, you know, they took my niece from us. You know, it's sad that this is the thing we have to do, but we're trying to get justice for her. We want people to be aware of it, what's going on. You know? Honestly, still on autopilot. Don't even know what, what to think. <laughs> I still keep thinking my baby's going to come home any day, but I know she's not.